All right, folks, we're going to try a little Diablo Hellfire tonight. I do believe everything's working, so let's see what happens. And yes, I am a warrior. By the name of Stabby Man. Because why not? What ails you, my friend? Ails you, my Even friend. my skills have been unable to fully heal Farnham. Oh, I have been able to mend his body, but his mind and spirit are beyond anything I can do. Yep. Old Farnham the Drunk. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. While you are venturing deeper into the labyrinth, you may find tomes of great knowledge hidden there. Read them carefully, for they can tell you things that even I cannot. Uh, we have, we have, oh, we do not have the Butcher, okay. So for those of you who've never played the first Diablo game, um, any given time the you play this game, this place has been fouled. you only got about... 40% of the quests, optional side quests. Mm. And now it can get it. Um, what they did is you would have a group of um, two to three quests. And as you would and you know, so for any given group you would only get some of the quests in that group. And one of the early groups is a super hard guy called Butcher. But you know if you get that quest because you'll see one of his victims on the outskirts of the church. You and his name on the piece. Yeah, these little twerps, as you can see, are cowardly. They see you kill anybody else, they'll back off for a second. So, the good news is, unless you let them all swarm you at once, they're really not super dangerous. And it's good first level enemies. Oh, also, again, for people that never played the first Diablo, the you always have the same number of levels, and they're always in the same four levels to a theming, basically four levels to each area um, layout, but the individual floors are randomly generated every time you play. So there is no memorizing the layout of this game. That's, that is one of the things I always loved about the first Diablo game over the later ones, is, um, not even just the later Diablo, but a lot of games, is that random generation of map feature, just like really, you know, that was something really interesting for the replay value. It was like, even if you went through with a, OP character, you 
still had to uh, deal with the fact that you had no clue what was going to come around any area. You made me confident you can kill it. Oh, there's my first level up. Which nicely is an auto heal. Alright, how do we want to play this? We're just going to go... hotkeys and played this in a couple of years. Unfortunately, I lost my old save files because otherwise I wouldn't... Yeah, see, that's part of the way chasing the cowards can get to it. But I had high health, so I took the risk. See? Kill one of them, the other runs away. So you get a second to breathe, which is helpful if you do need to heal. Yeah, the warrior class can learn certain spells. And technically, they can learn anything they want in the game. But you just start with such a handicap on your magic stat. And, you know, physically, you're going to have access to such great weapons and armor. But, uh, but, yeah, I do like to keep a few spells for situations. So I will put something into my magic stat. Yeah, see this is a wide open area. I'm gonna be careful I don't let too much stuff sneak up on me at once. Right, there's my door to the next level, but because we are low powered. As this is a first playthrough under this profile, I am going to clear out the whole floor so I can scavenge items. If I was doing a new game plus run, I would not. I would definitely speed run it early levels because nothing down here would be doing me any good. It would just be like, oh yeah, these paltry amounts of gold. Oh. Hey. Okay, the reason, okay, again, real quick for new, for new players, the reason I have a little gold helmet in the corner here is because it has almost no durability left. I can get it repaired later, but, you know, that's just your warning. But it's a freebie helmet, and it'll give me, a, you know, a little bit extra armor class until it wears out. Since I don't start with armor. Helpful hints from the masters. Um, also, again, this is the uh, Hellfire edition. Six, four to eight. Let's go ahead and upgrade our sword. Also have a club, which will be useful for skeletons. And I can kill them here, but some of the higher level ones will take more damage from clubs than swords. So it's always good to keep. If you're going warrior route, it's always good to keep a club. It's this wide open room. Really dangerous. If you just run around too much looking for chests. skill, but I don't like using it because 
it lowers your total durability of the item in exchange for ooh, oil of sharpness. I'm gonna save that for later. See? Increases a weapon's damage potential. We're going to save those because uh, late game, you'll get your weapons that you you know, are going to want to keep till the end. And I want to backtrack because that room looks like it's a... I skipped a room that looks like it's actually a short room because I didn't know the layout. We'll go back and you never know. It could be a good chest in there. You know, plus we got... Yeah. So, we're just going to get... Redo that section. See what's over there by the stairs. Yeah. Have ourselves a good time. Oh, the goblin guys. The cowards are going to see me kick by. So you take out the other bad guys first. But does Matt. Ooh, squirrel inferno. He's fire. Fire. Yeah, not super great, but did have monsters and give me XP. But yeah, this is a. Uh, I just, I really do like the first Diablo game a lot. It's, it's... For people that played classic Dungeons & Dragons, like, you can see a DD and d influence in the way the system's laid out. But they still did so much, you know, original stuff with what they had. You know, what they were working with that it feels like its own thing, but it's still familiar enough. Okay, there's this other cool thing, all right? Um, so you see that, you know, hey, it's a zombie, nine kills. The reason that matters, as you get more kills, oh, another level up. I don't know, that close to me, used to be one potion. But as you get more kills, you will, um, you will amass more information about the creatures, including their weaknesses. So, it's good times. I'm still going to load up my, double up my magic for a few levels till I get it up to... Because that gives me more mana to work with. Is that? Nope. There's a little bit up here. Okay. That's a little bit of right there. Yep. Another big one. But yeah, that... Early level, you definitely want to... Your first playthrough with a character, you definitely want to always kill everything on every floor because you need every level up you can get. And every freebie item, like, see, I wore out that helmet. <laughs> but it was a freebie item. Yeah, see, I can't even use the scroll in front. That's why I want to get up to at least 20 quickly so I can use useful magic. And yes, I am a map addict. I'm not going to lie about that. Ooh, there's a big old room still in here. See what I'm talking about? 
This whole section I would have missed. And all these potential. Okay, that's the dead end, but. Small chest. Ah. Mobile. See, all this I would have missed if. Yep, see, now I got 15 kills. Kills, I learned it's immune to magic. I didn't have that information, as is the skeleton. Oh, that's actually deceptive. There is one magic spell that works on Skelly Bones characters. Because it's made specifically to take them out. Of course, I'm a warrior. I don't know that spell was strong. Oh, look at this. Uh, okay, I'm just going to stand here and get them all the walk into the doorway. <laughs> Not let them gang up on me. Oh, skeleton tone. Scroll of healing. I can use the scroll of healing in search. Inferno is too complicated for me right now. Ooh, another skeleton tone. Scroll search. Scroll search isn't bad. I usually sell them for money, so I don't need them. So I'll have to get that for later playthrough. Um, there's a bunch of different shrines that all have a different effect. I'm going to have to have a note list for me to keep track of which one's which. Because some of them can actually harm you. So, yeah. Oh yeah, if you kill an enemy in the doorway, it won't let you shut it back again. So it's like, oh, the tiny little strategies. Okay, let me go back upstairs to sell some of this stuff off and hopefully get some armor to start me off. I mean, look at this. Literally, you have a tiny shield and you start off with a little baby sword. They definitely do not, even on the lower difficulty level, which we are playing, because, you know, we want to keep this laid back in front. But yeah, even on the lower difficulty levels, this is not a thing. Uh, you know, they do not make it too easy on you. Ah, uh, Julian the Bomb, mate. Hold in the tavern. Oh, what can I do for you? Okay, we'll keep the club for now. Ah, that's right, some scrolls. I gotta go to talk to the mage. That is how far our content we deal with later. Not far enough in to get the, the Hellfire quests. I sense a soul in search of answers. Search and scroll of search. Keep the scroll of inferno for now, but what I want is there we go. Scroll of town portal. For emergencies. Always good to keep one for emergencies. Drop you since I can't use you yet. Okay. Wow, what can I do for you? Oh, 
much. Man, <clears throat> look at that armor class is up. Yay, look at that increase in armor class. Much better armor class. I needed, look at that, what? 330 gold for it. That spots your necklace, and you can have two rings, but we haven't. Those are pretty much always quest items. I think late game you can start buying them from the shop, but it's going to take a while. Always want to upgrade. If you are a thorough searcher, it does not take much time to get a few levels under your belt, which definitely helps. And the game is generous and fair with its XP. Oh. Okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta be ready for this. Oh god, I gotta get myself in a trap. Ah! Dang it. Ah, oh, I should have saved it before I came down this floor. I'm so used to games with auto saves. That start me completely over from scratch. Yes, it did. Ugh. I'm sorry, folks. I completely forgot that game does an auto save. This game done. So we're gonna have to redo level one. Ugh. I let myself get caught in a trap because I was. <sighs> so the glowing yellow skeleton was a elite class character. So I was getting weary of him. And I was so weary of him. Oh, see, here's the butcher quest now. Oh, that means I gotta deal with the butcher. Please, listen to me. The Archbishop Lazarus. He led us down here to find the lost prince. The bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead. Killed by a demon he called the butcher. Avenge us. Find this butcher and slay him. So that our souls may finally rest. Uh, well, the good news is I don't have to deal with the butcher. The sanctity of this place has been fouled. All right, so we're gonna do a new level one run. Um, and then we'll have to do. So. Sorry about that, folks. Slight rewind here. But as you can already see, we are already encountering new layouts. So it's still new content, even though my goofy butt forgot the rules. Save. Save often. Save after you finish every floor. There's the stairs already. So that's good. No, hold on. Oh, he did it. No, I didn't kill that many already. Wait, did it keep a record of my previous kills? For, for the unlock info? But it did not keep my levels. That is... Okay, I mean, that works. It's just, I'd forgotten it would do that. <laughs> uh, it's been a while since I was silly, silly. 
Bookcase. There we go. Yeah, see, I need 20 magic for that. Holy Bolt is the spell that is extremely good at killing skeletons. So we definitely want to save that and get our stats up to where we can learn Holy Bolt. Because that is a very useful spell for first several levels of this game. Or several floors, I should say, to characterize levels. Can't use the same word to refer to different concepts. That's how you confuse people. The one thing Stabby Man doesn't want to do is confuse people. said farm. I'm like, nope, farm doesn't identify farm. And a feller drink in peace. Well, that farm is the drink. The... Yes, okay. Normally I don't care about bow and arrows, but that will definitely help me against the butcher when I encounter him. Because the butcher is super hard to kill uh, head on when you are doing a first run play. Right, clear out the section next. Not just prop fire. It's prop fire that can hurt you. Eh, never cared much for the runes. Probably sell that. I know, I want you to get off the screen. Not repeat. Alright, one, two, three, four. I know. If I'm anxious to learn, why don't I just pour all my points into magic? Well, then, because, you know, I still need to advance the others. Yeah. That's why. At the end of the day, I'm still a warrior, and strength is my primary stat. I want to advance that at least one point every level. Dexterity points because that helps you dodge attacks. You gotta get your points, little. Come to you. Your vitality, which gives you more hit points. You know, every category is significant in its own way. At least early game. Once I get a few, as I said, I get enough of these few basic spells, I'll start shrugging off the magic. It's not even the primary. I just want to have the ability to do a little spell sling. Potion. Nice this time around as they were last time. 
Oop, but I got a scroll in anyway. that would work too. So a whole bunch of them in there. I'll switch to one of my clubs. I might use my magic mace because I don't have it identified yet. So I don't know what the effect's gonna be. If you don't know what the effect is, you can't benefit from it. Not another file. Killy Tone! Ooh, another book on the wall. That'll get it up to level 2. I know, Stabbing Man's plugging in right now, but that's okay. It's the thought that counts. area. Let's clear that out. Oh, derp. That was a solid wall. So I'll go back around there and work on that area. Even if you don't want to use an, even if you're not going to use an item like a scroll of search, again, you always want to grab it so you can sell it for gold to buy the stuff you need. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. Ah, see? My inventory's getting full already. Wait. Now I don't have to wait for Kane. Now. I can use this. Which has the best top damage of any of my stuff. But yes, I am running out of weapon space. You know what? I'm gonna switch da this dagger for the saber. That's the top level sword. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to make another. Okay, we're gonna make a trip to town. 
sell some of this stuff, and come back, we'll finish off level. And I said, this is a artifact-heavy random generation instead of potions, so. It's a hellfire thing, we'll deal with him later. I sense a soul in search of answers. <sighs> fire. Fire. Search. Stay there, because I don't want to accident. Drop you, drop you. Drop you, so I might simply sell you. Well, what can I do for you? Oh! Oh! See, that's what I said. I just sold the bow I need. Now I can always buy another one later. I have to. Ooh, quilted armor. That's what I'm talking about. Eh, one armor's better than nothing. Can always upgrade it later. Alright, now I got a better armor class that should help me. What ails you, my friend? Let's get one more potion for now. Alright. Let's try this. more helpful. I appreciate that. Pick you up. Pick you up. Chap, you seem to have hit him in the back while he was running from you. Yes, I did. Because I have no time for that nonsense. a good shrine. Haha, I turned all my regular potions into rejuvenation potions. So I can get a mana increase and a life increase in one. I will take that. I will take that blessing upon my household.
big floor. This is supposed to be the basement of the church. And this is turning into the whole massive catacomb right here. This is a big map. I was really not expecting the first map to be this big. But, you know, as I said, that's what random generation gets you sometimes. Okay, looks like that's the end of it, though. So, let us... Go back to town one more time. And I run away. Do our town business. And this time when we go down to level two, we'll save our game. So Stabby Man doesn't have to start completely from the beginning again. Friend, stay a while and listen. Ooh, a fine clerk. Not bad. Taking that sword back there. Well, what can I do for you? Ah, dang it. I'm supposed to sell that other oil. See, this is what happens when you sell in a hurry. Sell stuff you didn't need to sell. Should have dumped it first. Okay, keep my saber so I can swap out if I can run out of skellies. Let's see if we have anything better in a cat. Whoa, what can I do for you? No, not so. Do not have the money to buy premium. There we go, skull cap. Now we're talking. Dexterity to use it. Uh, I'm gonna wait to see if they give me another free bow. Well, what can I do for you? Good news is anything you have equipped doesn't show up on the try to sell this, so. You can't speed run through and end up selling clothes on your back. <laughs> that would be awkward. Yep, that's right. Just go through the door and go around. No, nope, go through that door. Which I closed behind me as that side. Alright. So we'll stop right in front of the staircase. Save. And not be a silly jerk. Alright. Right there, they tempt us with those stairs down to level three. <laughs> not strong enough for you at level three yet. Let's build ourselves up with you at level two. Uh. Okay, 
still got plenty of durability on you when you hit that. Alright for now. We'll go repair things next time we go through town. Ah well. Bashy man is dead. Stabby man returns. Ha ha ha. Ooh, another book of Holy Bolt. I wonder if they're trying to tell me something. Keep hitting V instead of C on my keyboard. It's a matter of falling wise. I've slain too many of your brothers. Yep, see now I also know their kid plays. That's my first play here, so I don't know that. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Those little plague eater demon doggies. They will eat. They will stop to like drink the blood of other killed monsters. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, I need to leave. Uh, you caught in a knockback damage chain here. up yet. They can be a jerk. Oh, there's one hiding. Oh, is that the one that opens all the doors in the dungeon for me? I hope not. No, it said open now is closed. I think that closes them all back. Or something. I don't know. Here we go. Oh! Just teleported me over here. What a silly thing. No, I it was closed. Ooh, found of tears. That one I know was good. <clears throat> oh, see? It's a second level zombie. Oh, you know, have a little. Oh. See, that's the problem. You have more than one second level zombie coming after you. You do high damage. Because my armor class still stinks. Okay, we cannot open that door. That's the butcher's door. We're not ready for the butcher. Not at all. Not by far. I'm barely ready for the minions. Okay, level well, up. Uh, that's good. Oh, I need better armor class. Quilted armor's not bad, but... Ugh. Dexterity helps my armor class, so. Do not open that door under any circumstances until you are ready to die, because that is the butcher, and he is very 
Very hard to kill. We do not like fighting the butcher before we are ready for him. Very unique set piece. There we go. Good, good. Hunter's bow, even better. Ah, I can't use it though. I don't have enough dexterity. I'm close. Now I have to settle for a short bow. Uh, so much XP. We're not doing that now. Not, nope, 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 not, nope, nope, nope. Definitely not until I have killed every other thing in this dungeon. No matter how good a strategy you have for the butcher, you have to make sure nothing else is you, that you run into any kind of anything else sneaking up on you. Another reason I wish I, wish I really had messed up. The trick is you've got to kill him before he can attack you. Cap off my magic need for a little while. 
So now I can start focusing on the other three stats a bit more. I mean, I'll still put at least one in it. The scrolls take longer to kick in than potions do. That's why potions are more helpful. But, oh, that's just a baby set piece. Let's go ahead and just... Ah, I do not have the armor class to take us any hits from the butcher. I really can't do this right now. We can have too many enemies. Ooh, okay, yeah. My durability's starting to get low on some of these. You know what? Let's go ahead and learn Holy Vault. There's all this area over here, so I need that provide what I need. There's nothing in there. There's nothing. Okay, so now I'm going to go right over here and go back to town. I'm not going to fight you yet, Butcher. Against zombies and skeletons, because they are undead and it is holy. Not enough mana. Not enough mana. <laughs> what a jerk. Total mana is like just enough to use a spell, but not enough to even throw it away.
Potions. And I think we're gonna make the run back for how uh, much gold do I have casually? Ooh, okay, you know what? Yeah, we'll just go ahead and use the scroll of town portal. Instead of having to walk back to level one and then back up to town. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Spider staff of charged vault. No one really blowing in yet? Nope. Teeny. See, now that you got a side quest. I yeah, saw what Fondham calls the Butcher as it swathed a path through the bodies of my friends. Ah, oh, he swung a cleaver as large as an axe, hewing limbs and cutting down brave men where they stood. I was separated from the fray by a host of small screeching demons and somehow found the stairway leading out. I never saw that hideous beast again. But his blood-stained visage haunts me to this day. Woo! And that's why we don't want to fight Butcher right away. All right, let's repair some stuff. Before I repair the staff and shield, let's see if I can buy anything better. Ooh, nether armor. All shield. That's one better. Do not get a better. Get a better help. All right. Well, so let's. Yep. Do you three to four. Let's upgrade you. Well, what can I do for you? Sell you. That helps now, see? Look at that, 1361. Well, I did just repair the uh, bolted armor. I might hang on to that for a while and hold save up. Wait. I thought she ought to fill your magic when you talk to her. I sense a soul in search of answers. 
The Butcher is a sadistic creature that delights in the torture and pain of others. You have seen his handiwork in the drunkard Farnham. His destruction will do much to ensure the safety of this village. Yeah, well, the problem is destroying them is, har is harder than it sounds. And it sounds like it's next to impossible to do. Oh, wait, we have a new scroll town portal for the real quick. And then use the one I have. I sense a soul in search of answers. I can learn yet. No, I need to put the telekinesis. I need that. Now we're on. Alright, let's see what this set piece gives us. Go ahead and do another save. Yes. Yep, that's what I thought. I see it. Put them out here. There's a whole lot of things. Yep, see? That is a unique guy. Good news is, that means he'll give me even better. He'll give me a good weapon if I kill him. He is surrounded by lackeys. These aren't even the weaker fallen ones. Yes, there's also devil kids that are higher power. I'm just gonna let him slowly come out after me. Just gonna try and take out the whole lot of them. So Come on. Yeah. Blade skin a slasher. Oops, oh, blade skin's coming out. Killing all his peeps. There we go. Gotcha. Oh, all he gave was a book of holy vault. Man, I was hoping for a good sword. Ugh. What a rip. Make an executive decision, and that is, I'm not even gonna fight the butcher yet. I think I'm gonna go through a couple more levels, get some more XP, maybe some better weaponry, because no one said I had to kill him right now. So you know what? Let's just, uh, you know what? I'm gonna get that level three staircase again, and. We're gonna go ahead and call it here because we've been going at this for a little over an hour. And I think, you know, two, technically three levels because of the death um, is a good run on point. So we'll do three and probably four next week. By the time I finish off levels three and four, heck, maybe I will uh, be strong enough to go back and fight the Butcher. But that guy is like. Literally, if you're doing a first game run through on character stats, and you, you know, that guy is one of the hardest bosses to fight. No joke. So, we're not dealing with him right now. 
Right. That's going to save it. Let's just save the game just being annoying. And yeah, join us next week. We're going to take out some more demons. We're probably going to do this for the next several weeks because it is the Halloween season. And this is a Halloween type game. Uh, if you do want something uh, a little more licensed, I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw it out there because I think they're doing pretty decent with it. Though it's not my particular genre of skill and it's not technically retro, but there is a uh, survival horror type game based on the iconic Puppet Master movie franchise that is in beta right now and you can check it out. So if you're into that kind, those kind of games, go for it. I will go ahead and give them a shout out. But for now, I think we are going to go ahead and call this one. And next week, we're going to take out a couple more levels. Thank you all for watching. And hope to see you again for some more uh, Diablo Hellfire fun and games.